Good evening. I'm Dick Allgaier. Pamela Young has the night off. There are more people on Oahu streets, according to the latest homeless count. But as the numbers go up, so does the call for fewer shelters and more low-income housing. KITV 4's Paul Drews joins us with tonight's top story. Paul, what does the homeless count show? That there are nearly 6,000 homeless people across the state, both in shelters and on the streets. But while the latest count adds up the numbers, many are still struggling to find a permanent solution to the homeless problem. It's a quiet night in Waikiki. No homeless tents lining the sidewalk here. Quite a different story from just six months ago when many made their home in the beach parks and along the sidewalks. But they're not off the streets. They've just moved to other locations. Right now, I think the homeless have spread out more because of some of the new rules that have taken effect. A point in time study that looked at the number of homeless around the state in January showed there are almost 200 more people on Oahu streets, especially in urban areas. But service providers say the homeless problem may be reaching its peak. Our utilization isn't showing a huge increase. So I think in some ways we can say maybe we, we've reached that point where it's not really growing a lot and that we're starting to make some inroads. But to reach the chronically homeless, there needs to be additional substance abuse services. Until some kick the habit, they won't get off the streets. They want to, but, but they're addicted to dope. They're not strong enough to do it. Okay. We can't. Ronald says more mental health care for the homeless is also needed, even though some, like himself, still refuse the help. I don't like people. <laughs> My problem. You know, I mean, I, antisocial behavior. I'm supposed to be taking medication for bipolar and stuff. I'm fine. But in order to solve the homeless problem and get people off the street, many feel there needs to be a permanent place for them to go. We had an emergency. We had a lot of people on the street. The shelters worked for that. But really, the long-term answer is permanent housing. Low-income rentals would give many a place to go, an incentive to get there, even after years of life on the street. Once you're down, hard to get up. Hard. It's better than, I think it's better than this, so. That point in time count adds up the number of homeless, both in shelters and on the streets. But service providers says, say it doesn't get them all. There are more out there who aren't receiving services or who are too isolated to count on that particular day. Reporting live, Paul Drews, KITV4 News.